Because I want to be, want. I want to be talking toys until uh, <laughs> I, I can't, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't want this hobby to die. So yeah, that's we true. don't, we don't, we don't. Uh, so we recently actually had a community member, Ray, uh, Ray Paz. He was saying like how he's noticing that his nieces and nephews that he's interacting with, his family members that he's interacting with, are actually not necessarily collecting physical figures and action figures and stuff like we collect as millennials but uh they're they're more like more focused on video games and stuff like that and and honestly like yeah i feel like people will always be collecting but maybe not physical media I'm not sure man and honestly like i don't know i agree with ray like kids are definitely playing more video games like just being more digital for sure like that is the progression of uh, how society is going but i think there's always going to be collectors like and, and this just might be my little bubble. But I've actually gotten kids into collecting. Um, yeah, it's it's like the Ross route where like, you know, it's only $6, so it's not that expensive to get into. But maybe they catch those that collector bug, you know? And I don't know, it, I, it could just be my little bubble. It, it could be though, like maybe like the people that do collect toys that their dads collect, like the sure. older Gen X, the millennials that do collect, you know, their, their GI Joes that they'll they'll want to be like their dads and collect toys and that maybe carries the legacy of the six inch action figure collecting but i ultimately do think that it will end up dying like i think after you know once the 50 years when we're all dead like this millennial generation <laughs> that grew up with um physical toys and because you know it's not about the it's not always about the product for us it's also just about the nostalgia with the toys yeah, yeah. But, but like, I don't know, I'm a dad, like I have a kid and I'm raising him on action figures. Like I plan on showing him like cartoons I watched uh -huh. to potentially like get into the action figures that I have. Like he yeah, does, he'll, be, like... he'll be legacy collector, legacy collector. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, so not... say, there will yeah. be legacy collectors, the minority, but you have right? to think, you have to think um, not all the kids will kind of carry it. Like some That's will true. be into it. So that means whatever That's their true. collectors is now, it's going to dwindle. There always will be the legacy collectors that their dads yeah. and their moms yeah. collected. And so that's where they get it from. <laughs> yeah. But it'll dwindle, dwindle. And I think ultimately, I think ultimately collecting toys will end up dying. Like kids will just not want it because it doesn't uh, satisfy their like, uh, like satisfy. Yeah. It doesn't stimulate them as much as like, you know, mm -hmm. the, like everything's so hyper stimulating now with video games, how quick paced they are. VR goggles, yeah. like the, the short, short form video formats it's all so over that true. toys to them now are just like this is boring right because like them. it's something i i have to interact with i have to do it it's more of like a buy-in from you whereas it's uh the shorts and stuff like that are more passive right you just kind of engage with it passively interesting that's true you know it requires a lot of imagination like playing with toys like um i always remembered as like a kid you know playing with those cheap dollar tree uh <laughs> cowboys and indians little plastic yeah one inch sets or the you know everybody knows the army green men at least our generation knows about that because <laughs> i teach at a school i teach art at a school and um, we were watching toy story for a, one of our breaks and though there's a scene in toy story one where the little green men are walking trying to save uh woody see yeah. where he's at and one of the second graders not trying to be funny because he's in second grade <laughs> was like hey that's the guy from Fortnite." oh and my i just God. started bursting out laughing because i'm like <laughs> They don't, they've never even played with or seen green army soldiers. Right. Like, I don't even think those are in Dollar Trees anymore. And the, uh, yeah, like it's literally like probably a, like a Nickelcade or like a, you know, some type of arcade system where you can buy them for tickets. And how many kids are going that at that age? They're not. But what they're interacting with is Fortnite. And <laughs> Fortnite has it. Yeah, exactly. And then even in Toy Story, the little army soldier jumped off the cliff with little, you know, those parachutes, right? They had the string with the yeah. plastic and they were actually yeah. functional. They were sick. He's like, he even got the glider, the glider, the glider. <laughs> no. Yeah, so just like oh, hearing that, man. like it opened my eyes to like, this guy's never even seen a green army man. Oh, so it's like, man, man yeah. these guys, they don't play with toys. Like I just realized like they don't. Honestly, I actually, I'm remembering now, um, I let a few of my students actually come into my classroom during lunch. They had earned where like they could take a break. And I had left out all these Fortnite figures because that's what they're familiar with. Um, from the jazz where it has real stuff and i literally had a kid he's just like how do i bend the leg and hearing that <laughs> as a collector i was like hold on have you not ever played with not even as a collector just as like a kid as a kid like have yeah. you never ever played with an action figure like what do you mean you don't know how to bend the leg you just you just twerk it 
and it was so it was actually very enlightening to look at these uh this new generation and mean like they really haven't really played with physical toys and it's a mm-hmm. lot of, a lot of it is digital yeah 100 percent. yeah like the, the guys i'm talking to they have like vr headsets they're like eight or nine years old with vr goggles with vr like, yeah yeah it's like what it's crazy this kid too uh he also had a vr headset like that's what he wanted and when he was being you know being bad he, that's what he got taken away for me when i was being bad i got my action figures <laughs> yeah exactly that's a toy signal man. exactly that's true yeah. that's such a great point so an interesting transition that is happening with that whether or not that's the dead of actual physical media uh, physical like action figures you know things like that i don't know i think maybe it changes into something else i don't know yeah it could be honestly like yeah like i I don't think i'll ever stop collecting and i think it just comes from like my parents like how i was raised like i'll always want figures and um it started for me like serious like actually collecting and hunting started with like shoes i was like all about adidas shoes and uh, getting the weird like halloween editions christmas edition adidas and i loved getting adidas shoes and then it moved into a blu-rays like I still have a pretty substantial Blu-ray collection of physical media, but that's something like again physical media, and mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I, I actually reorganized that recently, and I was like, oh, I need, I found all these holes in my in my collection. I'm like, oh, I need this movie, I need this movie. It's like, do I really though? <laughs> you know, like I kind of question that because I've now moved on to action figures, and I want to complete teams, I want to complete figures, I want to complete lines, and it's interesting. It's interesting. I get, as a person who does collect physical physical things it's different from i think the new generation who definitely collects more digital and interacts more digitally yeah no i think you hit the nail the nail right there i think you i think that's it i think that's truly it because not only i think just like you mentioned are we collectors of toys but i'm just a collector in general like there's something in me that has always liked collecting things like you know whether it was pokemon cards back in the day legos you know like i was yeah. huge into that like when i yeah. when i got one i had to get them all like <laughs> whether it was even like like little like little beads or coins like i remember I have a, like a core collection whatever it was there's was just something like an itch like a collecting itch yeah. because of that we were raised on physical things where i think that's truly it that point that you made that's the key difference between i think these, these newer generations which is why i think the toy collecting the, the toy hobby might not survive past our generation which of course it's gonna last another 50 years or so but yeah with like we said more and more video games they don't even have video games anymore they don't have discs they don't have um that's true movies this, it's all it's streaming. Like, and not only that if you think about toys remember where it's gonna go now is like would be like the um like nfts that, that you can maybe buy right. and collect right. and see with your vr goggles you know true like have that experience because you bought into it, right? And yeah, and because even like Todd's moving into that, right? He's, he's yeah. he makes some NFTs and like they can appear physical with your VR headset. That's true. That could be the the gap, right? Augmented reality, where you're then ex- be able to experience whatever you want through that media, through that source point. And honestly, like I'm I'm <laughs> I'm one of those people who I'm here for it. I want cybernetics, man. I want implants. I want all that. I know that that's not. You want the Neuralink, the the Elon Musk Neuralink? Maybe not the Elon Musk one, but the one that comes after that (laughs) when it's more refined, (laughs) you know. But I'm here for that. And honestly, it's exciting to see potentially what type of uh, Ready Player One universe we get into, right? Because, like, even in Ready Player One, if you've seen that movie, there are certain things that, like, are exclusive within that digital realm. And to have that as a collector, you still kind of, that, like, Maybe you can transition to digital format, right? And physical toys are gone, but you have the digital version of it, right? Yeah, but for me, it'll never be the same. Like even like, you know, those, the new, what is it? Like the Marvel comic service that they have is all digital. Yeah. I don't know that for me, like, yes, it's about the story, but having that physical comic book collection, like having that shelf and just like walking by your house and even like with your Blu-ray collection, right? You walk by the house and you see that it's like, I don't know. It like fills you with a feeling of like proudness, like you know, because you had to earn that. Right. Like it's not because like, if you have a subscription to Marvel, boom, you have the whole collection, every single comic ever. And there's there was no there was no passion involved, there was no energy, there was no effort involved into like, amassing all those comics. Whereas, you know, you had to hunt for sales, you know, everybody has budgets. Um, you had to be maybe at events, yeah. um, going to the store, talking with other fellow collectors when you picked up 
you know, DVDs or whatever, comic books, whatever you collect, right? And so when you have those experiences and you walk past that, you know, that, that shelf, it's like a monument to everything that you've done, whereas they don't have that anymore. Like this newer, new generation. That's true. Like I can physically display that. And yeah, it's a display piece. It. Whereas, but, but hold on. Like as people move more and more into the digital realm, you could potentially have a space to where you could display those collectibles, right? I, I think though, it's true. I think for me, uh, I'm a very tactile person. So just not being able to <laughs> grasp it is different. Like it's not there for me. I can't feel it. Hey, man, like if we go back to my collecting, like holding a steel book, which is like a aluminum casing for a DVD instead of the plastic casing with like cool art. Like I'm so proud of my fifth element Mondo edition steel book, my Valerian Mondo edition. Like I'm so happy that I have that part of my collection because it is a rarer piece and it's metal it's different you know there's a variation between like the base valerian dvd that i have and then the, the mondo version i can actually share that with someone i'd be like help oh, dude check this out right look at this artwork look at the feel this metal <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and, and digitally we're not there yet right we're not at a point where you can be like check this out right? it's more like it exists within that specific game or within that specific digital form can't share that. Eventually, maybe if it does get there, we can share that experience with the people, but it's not there right now. I agree with you, man. We mm -hmm. are the last generation that's going to be collecting physical Yeah, and, and maybe even transition, because like I don't know if you heard, but like eBay, what they do is like they've gotten into like the collecting card market, but what they do is you send in your physical cards into them, and it's called like the eBay vault. So you send your physical cards into them. And then they hold it for you in like this bunker. So it's like super safe, you know, it's never gonna get damaged by earthquakes or things like that. But the whole trick of it is when it's there, you can buy and sell within that. So like, if you wanna buy like a, a, a Charizard, a hollow Charizard, you can say, instead of shipping it to you, just keep it in the vault. And so then you own that asset, but you actually save on shipping because they never ship it to you. Plus right. it's in the vault, so it's safe. But- So you have it, it's just not, physically with mm -hmm. you. and it's more like turning into like stocks where it's like they're just oh, right, trading right, right, right. Yeah. they're just trading assets right. assets on paper it's just like, numbers yeah it's but it's backed up by the physical right product. It's <laughs> there is up. There, there is the, yeah there is the backup of like actually i have that but yeah it, like ultimately you're just trading ones and zeros digitally yeah. exactly for profit and interesting yeah that's what they're starting to do now and maybe that's where we go to right where you have your own like cloud storage where it's your own bunker and you have all your collectibles there well, and then you can they've actually it. started to open it up to like collectibles so like really oh. rare toys like but they has to be something that's very expensive right because you have dollar to, value yeah it has to be very expensive because you do have to pay like a, a monthly fee to hold it in the vault because it's oh, like okay okay because it's yeah. physically you're storing it right it's like a storage unit yeah. yeah it's like a storage with like it's like temper controlled humidity controlled you know right, because right those things degrade and so they decay it's like it's like preserve super it. preserved yeah. yeah that's interesting well we'll see man honestly i do agree with you that we are kind of the last at least you 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 and your like class probably the last because i'm like technically millennial make like the last year of millennial yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so i'm technically millennial gen z but yeah i'm technically millennial i don't know man i like for me like to comprehend not collecting physical is so hard and because i was born in the 90s so that's like hard for me but <laughs> I, I do kind of want to talk if you're if you are a gen z collector let us know down below how like are you collecting what do you collect do you see yourself collecting future like or is this just more like a phase right like, that's a great point because yeah we only have one perspective we don't really have maybe that younger generation so if you are like let's say under 25 definitely comment down below yeah i would love to hear your perspective on collecting because that's not something that we can really speak on maybe we're wrong and yeah, you guys <laughs> yeah and i hope so right like hopefully you guys will carry on you know the cl toy collecting hobby that's yeah. so i want to be want. i want to be talking toys until uh, i can't right <laughs> yeah exactly we don't want this hobby to die so yeah that's we true. don't we don't we don't and never right? we love it we love it so much and, and it would be interesting to hear from some of the gen zers you guys do and if you're getting into it if you're not getting into it why or yeah why i want to know why too yeah because like is it the same reason as us like is it the nostalgia too or it, yeah. do they not really have attachment to toys anymore who knows Honestly. maybe with the whole mcu boom i think 
that generation because that generation that was kids during that 2015 era where like mcu was peak yeah they might have a lot of you know marvel toys and that might true carry the toy community <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. I, I really do want to hear from the Gen Zers, the under 25 group. What are you guys doing? What are you guys spending your money on? It, it, it could evolve into a different scale. Like maybe the six inch scale does like kind of pitter patter off and then gets into a smaller scale. Cause maybe just like for budgetary reasons, for space reasons. Cause yeah, not only are people's true. like, people are making less money, but like there's less space, you know, there's less houses that are even available. True. People don't even have space to display the Their collection. Figures. So what's That's the like, point what's of collecting? Point? Yeah. And, and so maybe it could transition to a smaller scale. And it maybe three and three quarter inch gets revived. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm it could be, me. John. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, we would be out, but it, it's a possibility. Honestly, I think it would, I think it first would transition digital. People would, would, yeah. would do yeah, a yeah, digital yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah, because that even seems that there's no space involved at all with that. It's unlimited. You don't need any space with it. Exactly, that's true. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, I think that's where it'll go first. Now, interesting takes here. Uh, let us know, guys. We love hearing from you all the time. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been the Collecting Brothers with a it's kind of a bit of a chat for you guys. Uh, as always, keep collecting, keep playing, and the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace.